Okay, we're finally uh, moving up the stack to the network layer. And, of course, talking about networks, we are, uh, once again, uh, dealing with our circuit-switched networks and our packet-switched networks and the differences between them. Now, the, uh, you know, as, as we said, uh, we covered briefly, uh, you know, circuit-switched is, is mostly the uh, plain old telephone service. These are the, the telcos there. Uh, dealing with the uh, uh, circuit switching, that's, you know, what they did. Um, and as I said, you know, it moved from dedicated point to point to actual, uh, you know, plug boards and then to automated switches and, and so on and so forth. And now, of course, um, the, the difference between a packet and a circuit switch network is... Um, almost academic, but it's still an important concept to uh, to know, to understand, um, particularly when we get into uh, virtual circuits, and, and we'll uh, deal with that. Um, and, of course, uh, that was voice. Um, uh, packet was, was data. Uh, you know, we had LANs. Uh, we had WANs, wide area network, we have the internet. Um, so, uh, circuit switched. Uh, this is uh, constant traffic. Um, has to have fixed delays. Um, uh, latency uh, does, well, it, it can matter, but it... It matters less than jitter, which is a variation in the latency, the delay in transit. Um, so, uh, you know, circuit switched uh, networks, um, you know, that's, that's where our concern is. Uh, packet switched, well, I just, um, yeah. Uh, constant traffic in circuit switched, um, it is connection oriented. It is sensitive to the loss of a connection um, and voice oriented. Um, now, uh, video is is you know connection oriented too, uh, and and constant traffic. But um, I mean, traditionally, um, you didn't have switched. Uh, video circuits because video, you know, the, the demands in terms of the bandwidth were just so much greater than voice traffic that um, if you needed uh, connections for uh, video traffic, um, you set up dedicated lines or, or you, you know, you it was a special event and you made sure that you had um, sufficient uh, uh, dedication of uh, switched circuits to support your application for the time necessary for the event. Uh, so, uh, you know, it wasn't, you know, video really was not part of the, the circuit switch network, um, but it probably would have been if uh, there had been enough, uh, you know, bandwidth and, and use of, of video. I mean, it must have been phenomenally expensive uh, to set up those those networks. Um, now, as I say, then there's virtual circuits. Now, this is, you know, having what looks like a circuit switch network and having a circuit over a packet switch network. And, and we do this in quite a variety of ways. But um, just to, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like we've, we've got a direct connection. Now, these days, everything looks like we've got a direct connection. We have, you know, pretty high-speed internet. Um, and, uh, you are, uh, you know, we're all used to, uh, Zoom calls and, uh, Meet and, uh, Microsoft Teams and, you know, whatever else, um, uh, virtual traffic and, and 
real-time communication, FaceTime, whatever. And we are used to them, uh, you know, just just running, and we don't care what it is. But, you know, this, this looks like we've got a circuit going. Um, however, that was set up. Uh, and, and really, um, these days it, it, you know, it runs over the internet. The, you know, everybody's got lots of bandwidth. Uh, nobody particularly worries about it. And so the difference between switched virtual circuits, which are set up and reconnected and, and reorganized, uh, on the fly and permanent virtual circuits where the packet switch network has you know th this is the path this is um and and you know the the permanent part of the name is a, a bit of a misnomer because the uh yes it is it is set up and and every node knows you know the nodes that are in use for this particular circuit um for the time that it's in use and you know, then it's it's torn down and disappears, and uh, there's nothing permanent about it. Uh, the next time you set up a permanent virtual circuit, it's you know to the same endpoints. Uh, it's probably going to take a different path. But it's just you know that at uh, one point with the uh, issues of you know how much bandwidth is required, how much. Um, uh, delay uh, and how much jitter are are we going to be facing? You know, is is there a problematic connection at some segment of this path? Um, you know, then then we would uh, sometimes set up a permanent virtual circuit for the duration of the call. Uh, it wasn't permanent in terms of, you know, no, nobody is ever going to use these. Uh, paths for anything else ever again. So, um, okay, circuit switch networks, uh, constant uh, traffic, generally voice, generally phone calls, uh, packet switch networks, mostly data, uh, nowadays a whole mixed bag of everything. Um, in terms of um, using packet switch networks for the connection-oriented constant traffic situations like voice or video calls, um, having, having those technologies, pretty much everybody used uses switched virtual circuits these days. But if you are faced with some limitations on, on bandwidth uh, or quality of the connection, um, you do have the fallback option of a permanent virtual circuit to try and address those kinds of problems.